Jesus is our true shepherd, so we need to follow him with that desperate, dependent devotion. Hello Grace family and welcome back to our midweek check-in. So we're in the middle of Advent, we've finished a couple weeks already, we're within this theme of there will be a day and we're kind of just playing our, our emotions and that longing, that desire for Jesus' return when he'll come back and he will begin to make all things final. And so last week we unpacked Ezekiel chapter 34 and we walked away with the big idea that Jesus is our true shepherd, so we need to follow him with that desperate, dependent devotion. And I hope it was a week that was real encouraging for you. It's one of those things, it's just such a great reminder that this isn't just a, a one-week topic, but this is really something that we should live out every single day. Because we found out and we were reminded that Jesus, as our true shepherd, that he seeks the lost, that he goes after the strays, he brings back the strays, that he strengthens the weak, and that he binds up the injured. And those are just a few things from one section of scripture that he does as our shepherd. And so I just wanted to share with you a little bit of a way that I got to apply that in my life already. These recordings are done on Tuesday and Monday is my day off so there's really not a lot of time between a Sunday morning and these recordings but I've had plenty of times to declare my desperate dependence and devotions on the Lord and so last night um, just one of those days of things that kind of piled up and I felt my inability to do things. I felt like I was at the end of my strength and so I just took a moment and I applied what we talked about Sunday and I just declared how desperate I was on God. And it was outside, it was at the end of the night um, and so I just wanted to share that with you from the viewpoint that in that moment when I began to just pray that and declare that dependence and that desperation on God, it was almost there was an internal feeling where that weight just lifted off. I mean, there was actually a physical change to me being reminded of the truth of who God is and choosing to depend on Him. And so I just share that with you. We have those moments every single day, dozens of times where we can choose to declare our desperate, dependent devotion on Him. And from where I'm coming from, what I just experienced, there's literally a physical change that can take place, a relief that can take place when we choose to trust in Him on a deeper level. So I just wanted to encourage you in that. I hope that it wasn't just a Sunday morning message, but it really is a, uh, a way of life. And that when you choose to apply what we've talked about, that you're going to feel that same kind of change. It's right there because God is always there and He's always ready to do the work for us. So one thing I wanted to meet you in the middle of your week on as if all of that is not enough about God as our true shepherd, I want to read a couple of verses out of Psalm chapter 28. It says, The Lord is the strength of His people. He is the saving refuge of His anointed. Oh, save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. So just a couple of verses, there's so many things there. It's again on Him as our strength. He's the one carrying, He's the one's blessing, He's the one that's being the refuge. And just a few more things about who our God is and our shepherd that you can cling to in the middle of your week and then choose to just declare that. Uh, desperation and dependence upon Him. So looking forward at this next Sunday, we're going to continue in Advent. We're in week three of our series, There Will Be a Day, and we're at the moment we're going to dive into Daniel chapter 7. So Daniel is a book about God's kingdom, and so this theme is going to be on kingdom and an everlasting kingdom, and Daniel chapter 7 is kind of the culmination of that. So read that. There's so much there, a lot that we're not going to be able to cover, but so much that we will. So I'll look forward to learning alongside of you this Sunday about God's everlasting kingdom and knowing that there will be a day that that will be final. So how we live within that, how we worship in through that and enjoy one another as we learn those things. So look forward to seeing you here Sunday morning at 9 a.m.